Happy Friday to you, Emily Bloom here, filling in for Chris Crocker. Pretty quiet conditions for us on this Friday night. You can see as we take a look at our live cam, quiet conditions, temperatures in those low to mid 30s. Now we were anticipating this system that's bringing rain and snow to the region to be moving through right about now, but it's coming later than expected. Uh, we are gonna get into more of that tomorrow. As we take a look at our overnight lows for tonight, most of us in those upper 20s and lower 30s, 33 for those of you in Grand Coulee, 29 for both Kellogg and Sandpoint. This is where we're going to be as you're waking up on your Saturday morning. Now, as we move further through the Saturday morning, you, you can see right at about 10 a.m., this is here in the Spokane area, that's when we are going to see the rain snow mix moving into the region, uh, becoming more widespread throughout the day and just continuing, continuing that is, into the afternoon and evening hours. If we see any kind of snow out of this in the Spokane area, it's not going to amount to much accumulation if any at all. We do have a winter weather advisory in place though. This is for the region shaded here in purple. To, they are looking to pick up two to five inches of snow out of this. Those in the Okanagan Valley, uh, the Cascade Valleys, and Northeast Washington, it's going to be primarily snow out of this system. So something to keep in mind that continues until 9 p.m. Saturday night. Now as we move into Sunday, we're going to be looking at round two of all of this. More rain than snow by that point though. As we take a look at our live pass cams, you can see Stevens Pass already picking up some of the snow from this system. So it is in fact moving our way just a little bit slower than we originally anticipated. So for the four things that you need to know, we're on the storm's edge right now. We have that rain snow on Saturday, more rain on Sunday, and these warmer than average temperatures, they're gonna be sticking around. We're settling into this pattern of our temps in those upper 30s and lower 40s with chances of rain and it's looking to be that way for at least the next five days or so. I hope that you have a great weekend.